The brain uses more energy than any other human organ. You may have heard that because 20% of the body's cholesterol is found in the brain and that more than 50% of our brain is fat, by that logic, we need to consume more cholesterol-rich foods and saturated fats, right? Not really. But before we expand on that, let's review the fat structure in the brain. The brain does have a lot of fat. This fat is primarily found in the form of myelin, which is a white, fatty substance that surrounds and insulates the axons of neurons. Myelin is essential for the proper function of the nervous system as it allows electrical signals to be transmitted quickly and efficiently along axons. In addition to myelin, the brain also contains other types of fats, such as cholesterol and phospholipids, which are important for maintaining the structure and function of neurons. Now, these fats are found in the cell membranes of neurons, as well as in the spaces between neurons, where they help to support the transmission of signals. Let's take a moment and talk about fatty acids. From a chemical point of view, fatty acids or molecules have a tail, and these are covered in hydrogen. The extent to which hydrogen covers the fat tail is called saturation. Saturated fatty acids are completely covered by hydrogen, while unsaturated fats are only partially covered with hydrogen. Why is this important? Because depending on their level of saturation, for example, how many hydrogens they carry, these fats play very different roles in your brain and have profoundly different effects. Let's begin with understanding saturated fats. These fats are solid at room temperature and are mostly found in animal-based foods such as meat, chicken, cream, cheese, and also in some plant-based foods such as coconut and palm oil. On the other end of the spectrum are unsaturated fats. These fats are quite delicate and easily damaged. Examples are vegetable oils such as olive oil that become very rancid quickly if it's exposed to light or heat or when they're not stored properly. There are different types of unsaturated fats, monounsaturated fats and polyunsaturated fats. Monounsaturated fats are abundant in oils and foods such as olive oil, nuts, seeds, avocados, and some whole grains as well. Polyunsaturated fats are mostly found in oils from plant and marine sources, especially in fatty fish like salmon, algae, and some nuts and seeds. Saturated and unsaturated fats are an excellent example of how, even though the brain contains both, it doesn't actually need all of them replenished. When it comes to our diet, there are some essential nutrients and non-essential nutrients. An essential nutrient is something that our body cannot make. Therefore, we must include it in our diet. Non-essential nutrients can be made by our body without any help. Both saturated fats and dietary cholesterol are non-essential nutrients. The brain is very selective in allowing compounds to cross the blood-brain barrier, and saturated fat is not on that list of accepted compounds. Contrary to what you may hear on social media over and over again, the brain is able to make as much saturated fat as it needs locally and is therefore non-essential and does not require restocking. When you eat foods that are full of saturated fats, think of red meat, processed meats, cream, cheese, the adult brain does not take it in. And the same applies to monounsaturated fats, which are largely made in the brain and are not required and therefore not essential. So saturated fats and monounsaturated fats are considered non-essential fats for the brain. So what are the fats that the brain actually needs? Polyunsaturated fats. Polyunsaturated fats such as omega-3 fatty acids and omega-6 fatty acids are considered essential nutrients. These are essential fats that the brain cannot make on its own and at the same time craves it. Polyunsaturated fatty acids are the most abundant fatty acids in cell membranes throughout the brain. These fatty acids are essential for maintaining the structure and the function of the neurons and for supporting brain health. In fact, 57% of our brain is made of DHA, a type of omega-3 fatty acid. 
The brain is specifically designed to collect these fats through the blood-brain barrier. These fatty acids are in such immediate demand that as soon as they arrive at the brain, they're consumed accordingly. In fact, the brain needs them to form other larger and more complex fats, such as phospholipids and sphingolipids, that are a central part of the brain structure. When it comes to cholesterol in the brain, it does not come from any cholesterol in our diet. It is exclusively made by brain cells. In fact, research clearly shows that not only do the cells in our bodies make the cholesterol and saturated fats that it requires, but that diets that are rich in these fats can actually damage the millions of arteries supplying oxygen and nutrients to the brain and increases the risk of developing vascular dementia, Alzheimer's disease, and even contribute to cognitive decline. There are large observational studies showing that consumption of saturated fats and trans fats are clearly associated with an increased risk of premature death and dementia. The two major sources of saturated fats in the Western diet are dairy and red meat. On the flip side, polyunsaturated fats and monounsaturated fats found in whole foods such as nuts, seeds, and avocados are consistently associated with improved lifespan and lower risk of dementia. One study that looked at 6,183 elderly women found that those who consumed higher amounts of saturated fats had a 70% faster decline in their memory, while women consuming low amounts of saturated fats had brains that behaved as if they were six years younger. In another large study, scientists measured the cholesterol levels of nearly 10,000 people between 1964 and 1973, and then followed them for more than 40 years to see the effect that those levels had on their brain health as they aged. Three decades later, they found that high cholesterol during midlife increased the participants' chance of developing Alzheimer's disease by 57% and vascular dementia by 26%. Another study found that participants with both high systolic blood pressure of 160 or greater and total cholesterol of over 251 milligrams per deciliter had three and a half times the risk of developing Alzheimer's later in life, even after controlling for age, weight, smoking, and other lifestyle factors. It makes sense. These modifiable risk factors affect vascular health, and in the same way that they affect blood vessels supplying oxygen and nutrients to your heart, they affect the blood vessels in your brain as well. And like cardiovascular disease, even if you don't really feel it, we're actually laying down the foundation of dementia in our midlife for it to manifest in the future. Our cholesterol levels are raised with saturated fat intake and to a lesser extent dietary cholesterol. So it makes sense to de-emphasize these in our diet in order to protect our brain from dementia and stroke. We also know from both lipid-lowering trials and studies of people who have genetic mutations that when people who have super low cholesterol, they still produce a healthy amount of hormones. This again reiterates that the idea that we need to eat dietary cholesterol and focus on foods rich in saturated fats for heart health or brain health or hormone health is simply not true. And in fact, it could be extremely dangerous advice. <laughs> 